Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we're playing Crusader Kings 2 Jade Biz episode 284. Now, by the time this airs, I mean, today's May 3rd, and by the time this airs, apparently mid out, mid air will be free. And if you remember, this channel pretty much started on Tribes Ascend, so yeah. Oh, also, I did like 2,000 ducats worth of. I guess I have to do this crap. Uh, 2,000 ducats worth of... Ransoming. And we're taming Tiggin. That's basically the episode today. Taming Tiggin. Uh, what now? You accepted a peace offer. From Serbia. Severo 1. He ate that area. Easily 2,500 worth of ransom here. Because I'm in an event chain that may or may not cost me a great deal of money. We sent our armies into Tiggin. They should be taking Tiggin back. And we're going to send that to our dynasty. Which, of course, means we're going to have to redistribute some land. But that's okay. I mean, technically, Tiggin was supposed to be part of, you know, France, but... And you're a malcontent. Why would I ever put you in charge of anything? This is an advisor ship. It goes to you. I still have the problem of a couple of disjointed vassals here and there. <laughs> it's like, what are we doing? I know. During the construction of your grand tower in Constantinople, a couple of workers are killed by a fallen granite block as the ropes holding it snap. People are now demanding stricter security measures, as well as compensation to the families that lost their husbands and fathers in this tragic accident. You can get revolt risk or pay money at revolt risk. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just not threatened by a revolt risk. It's only in Constantinople, it would just be annoying. Alright, so that war is just going to take some time, because attacker controls all their holdings is just not going to last. All these little battles are going to cost them money. Uh, it's called Corsican and Sardinian Holy War for Sutia. Thought I aren't owned all of Sutia. I guess this is part of Sutia. No. That's weird. Whatever. I'm not suffering significantly dreadful attrition anywhere, except maybe here. I suppose if these guys all worked together, they could do something. I'm not convinced of what, but they could do something. Uh, Bishop approaches me. See the new tower now stretches higher than any temple in the realm. He raised his voice and nearly screamed, This is unacceptable. How? You cannot climb to heaven no matter how much you try. The way to heaven is the domain of the church. <laughs> Back to your scriptures, punk. Oh, for a minute there I thought there was going to be a battle that I had to worry about. Hey, 
And yes, I know I'm gonna have to deal with granting vassal stuff. I'm now multilingual. Diplo and learning plus one. Sweet. I got that's what I need, man. An extra vassal slot. I'll take it. Okay, he's done. It's like, I can't believe I got my butt whooped. Revoke title, take insult in it. You're a traitor, you will not object. Revoke title. County of. Your capital, yoink. Can I revoke further titles? Nope. Okay. Trooper Cooper 240, thank you for following me on Twitch, even though I'm not live. Uh, I'm recording, and I saw it pop up. I'll get back to you briefly. Um, yeah, this will probably air like two months after anything goes down. So, who do I want to give this to? My son at the Doe of Yarlung. I have a kinsman in Sardaria. Hates me. My son seems to be doing fine. So I'll grant him Sardu. Scardu. Well, I, I can't even find it. I guess I revoked this from him instead. I, I guess I invoked the wrong one. You can have that. Hmm, Transoxania. Returns to my dynasty. Now to do the transfer vassal thing. That's yours. And apparently I can't transfer from anything else for some reason. That's weird. I'm way over my vassal limit. And I shouldn't be. Kashgar. Your de jour Khanate of Coltan. Your filthy Carling. There is no Kotan. I mean, there is, but I don't know how he got it. And I can't usurp it to even think of giving it to someone. Plus, that just gives me, it gives me the problem of an extra kingdom. Ah, oh, man. Pamir. The Jura Kingdom of Kabulistan. So that's you, Armenia. Okay. Sardaria, King of Turkestan. Okay, well, that solves my problem for now. I mean, it's far from beautiful, but <laughs> it's beautiful to me, damn it. There's like the occasional du jour, du jour like Armenia, even though it's supposed to be over here, it's over here now. Georgia is like this strip here. It used to be Trebzion. Trebzion is like shattered. Turkestan is kind of there. Bavaria is there. Austrasia is taken over. You know, that's a German revolt. France is sort of in France, but not really. It is just atrocious. It's fine. And I'm plus one vassal now. The great tower that you began planning so long ago has finally been finished. A tower this tall can be seen from a long way away, and people are equally amazed and frightened 
by the power you've displayed by accomplishing such grand feat of construction. During the years of work, you've spent your time perfecting your knowledge in the many key aspects of science of construction, knowledge that will last centuries. The tower is also sure to hold back many thousands of enemy soldiers. So basically, I can gain architect. I can lose traitor and gain architect. Marshal one, stewardship two. So it's still Marshall plus one. General opinion plus five, sweet. Prestige plus one, nice, not bad. 100 prestige, not bad. Uh, yeah, sure. And now I should be leading sieges. Um... Blast Furnace for another year. Scholars Foundation. That's pretty sweet. Got a lot of bonuses here. I like it. might actually just get military organization it's wasting like a thousand points but the retinue cap the morale of armies the supply limit somehow I'm now again over the vassal cap count of Kudal. Let's do another round of ransoming. 169 quid. You don't have the money to get out. Basically, just settled the case for 30. Um, well, that means more retinue time. If anyone thinks there's going to be a Rolton Constantinople, they're dead wrong. That's 7,000 soldiers right there. That's fine. If double over in pain is I'm suddenly beset by painful cramps. That's not fun. I should have just released him. That was really stupid of me. Health plus one. It's just my heir to the realm. However, you have full confidence, it will not disappoint me. You're greedy. That's what I want to see in a kid. National tax modifier, baby. Uh 
it's doing well. Alright, so I just offset my favor. Well, no more cramps. This this kid becomes friends. Ooh, he's strong, Turkish. Might make a good fighter. Spills beverage and insults all of his ancestors. Oh well. Revolt for whatever the hell it is. Uh huh. What? It's weird that I can't conjure up levies there or there or there or there. What the? F Did I miss something, or did I leave a bunch of levies raised? Oh, crap. That's a problem. My bad. Kid's not completely dumb. Groomed perfection. Monthly prestige. Vassal penny plus four. Sweet. The revolt is over. I can stand down my levies. I can enforce demands. Humiliate him. Let them. S After some struggle, Vakchal is dragged from his cell out to the town square and put in the stocks. He will learn soon enough to respect you. We'll learn to respect you soon enough. Now, Shy! On top of Broken Spear, publicly humiliated, and peasant leader. Yeah! Told me like what I was gaining grace from. All right. So I can't actually do that much. The hell is this? Attacking Khan, Temujin the Noble, and Bulgarian Holy War for Igbode. It's Temujin. But also the Western Protectorate. Which doesn't really exist, by the way. Has no troops of any sort. So he's got a titular title. generally sucks all right well knowing all of that i do want to thank you all so much for joining me if you enjoyed this episode please hit the like and subscribe buttons it really does help the channel grow it lets me know what you're watching so i can make more of it and i really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and as always on this channel la paz <laughs>